Anyway, my question is, our doctor is, it's about encryption, and my doctor's discovered enc- encryption, <laughs> and I wish he would undiscover <laughs> that's, it. Because <laughs> that's, I could tell this is a, a, a source of dissatisfaction whenever you say that. Yeah. Yeah. He's discovered yeah. something. Oh, dear. So, so why? Is he encrypting all his email to you? Yeah. yeah. So what it is, is now, on the, first, on the face of it, it seemed like it might be okay. He says, well... You uh, click this link. It takes you some uh, to GoDaddy, and you log in, and then you see your email. But yeah. not so much uh, because, for one thing, the uh, for some reason the file to see the files, you have to click this extra button. And for some reason, our access technology, we're both. We're oh. both well, right? you should tell them. You know. Yeah, uh, it it's not accessible because she's yeah. probably doing, you know, the, the Health Insurance Protection Portability Act, HIPAA, yeah. um, requires that uh, physicians in particular um, protect patient records. And so, uh, you know, e just sending emails like sending a postcard, it probably you wouldn't want to, you know, say <laughs> you need to come in for a test because I'm really worried about something yeah. uh, in a postcard. So. For the same reason, you know, uh, they might say, well, we're going to use some sort of technology. I'm sure technology he didn't invent that he's, you know, licensing from somebody who provides physician uh, services. Yeah. But you should definitely let him know that it's not accessible that because that, that, le that leaves you out. You can't read it. Yeah. But how does it usually work? I mean, I, I figured from what I, I've heard you talk about this that you would, okay, you would provide this key or password and then you'd just see your email like normal. But... It, yeah, I mean it would, but it, he's that's normal. he's not going to expect his patients to do that. So what they've got is some sort of simpler system. The way you know, the, uh -oh. the, the good email encryption, uh, which I recommend, is probably not ready for prime time. It's called I, I use something called PGP, or actually I use an open source version of it called GPG, GNU yeah. Privacy Guard. But it's the same thing. It's what we call public key crypto. So. Yeah. You, if you want to be communicated with, you distribute a public key that can be seen by anybody. Yeah. It's a one-way key. It can only encrypt. It can't decrypt. And right. then you keep privately, you know, to yourself, usually pass password protected, the private key which you need to decrypt. So, in order for this to work, your doctor would have to circulate his public key so you could write to him, and he'd have to have your public key so that he could write to you. And yeah. it requires setup. And but you're right. Once it's set up, most email clients will automatically open encrypted email if it's if it's encrypted with the proper key. The first time you'll have to enter a password. And right. by the way, that may not be accessible because one of the things these systems try to do is is uh, prevent keystroke logging. Oh, and I bet you that's what the, what his system is doing. And so they put it in in these weird on-screen yeah. forms. Yeah, you can't select it, for instance, and copy exactly. it in a document. That's to prevent, yeah, that's to prevent bad guys from somehow yeah. getting the information. But it isn't accessible, and so that's yeah. that's not good. I mean, I'm sure he has some alternative, like snail mail or a phone call. Yeah. You know, the thing is, I don't care if the, if, if, if the whole world knows about my bad knee. I, I know, but, he, but the government does, and he's yeah, not allowed yeah. to. He's actually, yeah, know, the fines are very strict for yeah. violating HIPAA. So yeah. <clears throat> I think that that's probably the case, that he's using some service provided by a company, Physicians Encryption Service, or maybe part of a larger office, uh, you know, physician's office package he has that yeah. does this. Now, if he sends a file attachment, for instance, I should be able to read that normally, correct? Well, he could, yeah, that's another way he could do it. He could encrypt a file attachment. Again, he'd have to have a public key, your public key. Yeah. He could encrypt it using your public key, scramble it. Then you'd get it as an attachment, which you could then open. And, uh, and, and probably, uh, it would be up to you, but your software would be uh, situated in such a way that you could read it uh -huh. with your screen reader. Um, you know, it's funny. He's kind of caught between a rock and a hard place because I'm sure uh, there are rules about yeah. having you have access to it as well, right? Yeah. He's probably face-to-face uh, -face with the ADA. HIPAA and ADA, or the American for Dis Disabilities Act, are in com competition with each other. So I think really that would... The argument would be for him to explain that to him, yeah, and say you've got to find a physician's service that is ex that is uh, accessible. Yeah, well, actually, and.
man, you can't do anything about this talking to him. He he might as well be encrypted. I was, that's what I was telling you. Yeah, he probably doesn't know what's going. He he doesn't know what's going on. He's he just know. He he's know. trying to be compliant. Yeah, yeah. In his group or his hospital or his uh, his office is this is the choice. Maybe he made the choice, but this is the choice they made, and he probably doesn't understand it or have any control of it. But I am sure you can say mail it to me or call. I bet you you can do a phone call. Because they have to provide an accessible solution for you, uh, of course. It's very complicated, you know. And, and this is, you know, I su I support it, but it gets it gets messy.